So you probably clicked on this video because you want to be more persuasive. You want to be able to convince anyone of anything. But I'm going to start this off with the fact that if you're trying to convince somebody of something, then you're already messing up. Because you're probably someone you know, who wants to improve their sales or their persuasion, etc. But the core of persuasion is that you really let someone convince themselves. Okay? If someone ever asked me a qualifying question, like, hey, why should I go with you or whatever? I asked them, hey, why would you want to go with us? Right? Just a question like that, an example. But you want someone to convince themselves that they need whatever you're selling or giving, etc. Because if you're in a frame of convincing somebody of something, then you're always implying lower value than that person in every interaction whether it's sales, dating, networking, whatever, there's always one person trying to convince the other of something more than the other way around. There's always one person more at the cause, more in power than the other person, okay? And that's because we are, as humans, really go into the reality that's the strongest and the frame that that's the strongest, okay? So you gotta really be aware of certain frames that are underlying communication. So you might think, point blank, that convincing somebody, telling someone all the good things, etc., would be good because you are literally trying to convince them, right? So you might convince them, you think. However, there's a subcommunicative frame when you're doing those behaviors, which is, hey, my shit's not good enough, so I have to convince you. Because someone who's truly good would never convince somebody, okay? If you're going to a brain surgeon or whatever, and you're really gonna ask, like the top one in the country, you're not gonna ask him like, hey, why should I go with you? And he's gonna tell you a laundry list of all his achievements and stuff, because he's got enough clients. Right? He doesn't care. He's going to be like, dude, like, you know, read, you know, read my website. I mean, if you want it, cool. If you don't want it, cool. So I'm training my sales guys, right? And then always I tell them like, look, if this kid is saying like, oh, are you guys a scam or, you know, whatever, um, then just say like, hey, dude, like up to you, brother. Like, you know, if you have any questions, I'm here to help you. But for the rest, you know, like if you're down with it, that's amazing. If you're not down with it, that's, that's cool too. And that's very non-needy energy makes someone want it more because it subcommunicates once again that you're higher value because you don't need them because you're so good that you don't even need to convince, right? But a lot of people mess this up, especially also in sales or in relationships where they're trying to, you know, if they're trying to date someone or whatever, tell them, you're probably doing this sometimes, tell them like, hey, uh, I got this going for me, I got this going, etc. But that really subcommunicates that you're actually low value because you're trying to compensate by giving all these features and benefits, okay? So the true power to be able to convince anyone of anything is to ask the right questions and come from the right frame of mind. Like, hey, you need to convince me why I should date you, network with you, or take you on as a client ex instead of the other way around. And the way that you do that is by asking questions. But like before asking questions, it's about coming from that mindset, coming from an abundance mindset. It's about coming from the right belief system. Okay, so the belief system of I have more than enough, nobody can complete me, I'm feeling good no matter what, etc., etc. Okay, now this might be hard, you might have to fake it till you make it, kind of, if you don't have that external reality yet. However, stepping in that, into that reality, even if it's not true on the external yet, but you make it true on the internal because you choose that, is gonna, re, is gonna actually manifest and create that on the external, okay? So you wanna start from that belief system and from that, you're automatically gonna ask the right questions. You're automatically gonna have the right tonality. You're automatically gonna do the right things and say the right things, etc., and carry your body the right way because you're coming from an abundance reality, okay? So that is really the most important thing if you wanna convince people is your levels of confidence, your levels of internal abundance, whether it's dating, whether it's networking, whether it's sales, etc. That is the true power. It's not in a script, it's not in a line. It's about the mindset that you enter the interaction from and that mindset you should carry with you every single day, every single hour, every single minute, and that will really create the results you want. So be persuasive, but look at yourself first. What belief system am I coming from? And that will ultimately help you do this thing that you really came here to get.